Sagittarius, welcome, fellow Sagittarius, I should say. This is a very special heart spread read. I'm going to call it a timeless read. We're going to read a little different from the way I normally do, using the ethereal visions of women in a tarot deck to give a darn. And um, today, instead of looking at you and uh, who's on your mind, uh, the lover, the interest, the person, um, want to look at the number two position as being, you know, your own relationship with love and romance. That's how I'm going to put it. So make it an internal reading um, and um, that's relevant uh, to uh, particularly if you're more spiritually minded or, or if you're into manifestation, really looking at it uh, that way because I think like this will show uh, kind of what that whole process is. You could call it the anima animus, the projection, like the Jungian originally, kind of borrow it a little. Uh, the the uh, idealized masculine, idealized feminine. Uh, but it, it's something that we want. So it must something be that we feel we don't have. So that's also too uh, one thing to look at uh, what we might, might not have. So, uh, otherwise, we're doing the heart spread way I normally do. And I did pre-shuffle, guys. Wow. So, remember, this is now uh, your uh, energy in and around relationships, love, romance, and your life, and yourself. Um, it, it kind of coming in with the Ten of Swords in this reading, it implies to me like a, like a you always say this is an ending you know something's ending but uh the end of a really long cycle which it's well represented by this moon energy um 27 degrees um taurus this full moon here um just the other day now um and you know i can kind of relate to that as a sag now, looking at the Seven of Cups, normally this is going to be your person, where they're at, in and around uh, love, relationships. Um, and But now we're reading this part of yourself. This is your projection. You know, i got to tell you, it looks to me like it, it wasn't uh, firm. It, it, uh, what you maybe didn't, uh, weren't a manifester, Sag, and... Um, maybe now you're kind of getting it, um, and this is really having no, you know, maybe just saying to the universe, I want, you know, the perfect one, I want the perfect, something big like that, um, but this is implying an ending, so kind of looking forward to see the positions of advice here as, as an eight card spread, but this is important, look at how it's normally how you're relating with the other person here. So there's an ending of, of an era wherein you were ill-defined in terms of love and romance, can I say? You, as a kind you know, maybe you, you really were, if someone had asked you, what do you, gee, Sag, what do you think about love and romance? You're like, what? <laughs> uh, change the subject. Now, this is how you're feeling. I think this has ended, and now what's coming in is this uh, different energy much more emotional look you know the six of cups is also very emotional and of course it's nostalgic now in this particular reading does anything to do with your a soulmate however with this energy there it, i could see where a soulmate could be drawn in that's not what we're looking at right now but all things being equal if you're moving out of this energy and you learn take sad i'm sad we have to learn the hard way that's how we learn <laughs> unfortunately most of the time that's the way sad do it Get it wrong before you can get it right. But now we're coming in. This could be a, a progressed uh, planet, uh, sun or moon changing uh, houses and signs, guys, with the Six of Cups and going into some, maybe a, a, literally from air you know, into something like it could still go into earth, water. It's going to be, you know, be, air can be tough for progressed energy. I've got a progressed sun in Aquarius. So, I like this. I see it as a progression here, going from this to this. Normally in a relationship, it really gives me an idea how you're reacting to the person. Um, and so this could be you, like for the first time, going like, you know, uh, uh, 
really feeling the energy of wanting to manifest and wanting to align yourself, you know, uh, in terms of your higher purpose, also with love. And, you know, Sag, I got to tell you, I mean, the ninth house rules of literally religion and belief systems. And with all my heart, I want to say this is about belief systems, what's going on in terms of being personal. But with the emperor here, and this is, uh, this is now, this position normally would be, how is your other person feeling about you, your other lover? But here, this is how... This, how is this own, your projection working for you? That's kind of what this, I think, gets at. How, what are you getting out of it? What's coming back at you where you've been trying to, um, you know, manifest? And literally, it's Aries energy. So think about this for a minute. What, what has been your problem in the past? What did I say? Ill-defined, not really knowing, not, they you know, they know this Aries is like a flaming arrow, you know, and on the way to its target, it's going very fast. So it's like that's what this is. And how different is that from the Seven of Cups energy? This could be emotionally being a little bit lost, being, you know, not having direction, emotionally not being grounded, emotionally, all emotionally. In um, terms of love and relationship, it would be extraordinarily difficult to manifest out of that, um, you know. So, um, which, what this coming back now is telling you, this is the energy of absolutely knowing who you are, what you are, what you want, without any question, and being extremely firm and strong about it, you know. And I think it goes wonderfully with the Six of Cups. It's almost another way of putting this is like in, in terms of the Six of Cups to the Emperor, this is you not remembering, but emotionally reconnecting with your own inner strength. And I mean the rock solid inner you, Sag. You know, that core part that is, you know, it's Emperor. You can't take it down, you can't kill it. Good luck, right? Um, so I like it. I see it as generally like this ending of this. It hasn't been fun. I'm with you. I'm oh, sad. <laughs> uh, Knight of Cups. Wow. <clears throat> Coming under the Six of Cups. Again, I was looking for the advice. This is the advice from Spirit. Normally, this would be for you and how to interact with this other person you're thinking of. It's in your heart and on your mind. But here... This is your advice from spirit and how to proceed with this uh, anima, animus projection, how to uh, react to your own uh, inner sense of love, relationship, romance. And it's really saying drop into your emotions, drop into your emotions under the Six of Cups. I don't even think it's going to be hard because with this Six of Cups here, just that real nostalgic, romantic energy. And this is moving into the reading. It's actually moving the other way. And when I reverse it, right? So you're moving into the reading. It's very significant. And you're looking right at the advice. Normally, this would be the advice um, here for your person and how to engage with you. Uh, I might say with this, if it was a person, you, they, you need to cool it emotionally and back it down some. Like, you know, this is that class kind of, I don't usually do this in, in relationships, and, you know. I haven't had a lot of success, so maybe. Yeah. But, you know, this is kind of toning it down, backing it off, definitely not being needy, you know, um, just kind of being, acting a little coy, you know, in some way. Um, but here, this now is a advice from spirit in terms of how this energy is, I believe, coming back to you. And I think in the past, if you think about it, it you, you were very vague. Maybe what you got was people who knew what they wanted. And frankly, when you don't know what you want, and the other person's an emperor, they're gonna figure out, they're just basically gonna take what they want. And if you don't really know what you want, and they have a really strong sense, plus Aries is cardinal, Sag is mutable, 
in a relationship. I'm in one. We tend to follow along anyway. You tend to follow the cardinal sign. You know, um, it's probably the most basic thing is that your elements. So it's saying to you kind of to do that. At the same time, it's a cross from the Knight of Cups. So at the same time <laughs> that you're opening up your heart, you know, that's what it's saying, really dropping down into your emotions. Mars is actions, taking actions from the heart emotionally. At the same time, it's basically saying to balance it out and don't give it too much power. You know, um, well, I mean, here with the Four of Cups, I did it that way you could see. That's what the Knight is looking at. So it's kind of a way emotionally of sort of feeding yourself too, I see, you know. Uh, it's like keeping your emotions in balance by uh, having what you need sort of internally. Because all of this is an internal process, Sag. So, let's see. Um, we do read the bottom of the deck. Six of Wands, lightly here. I'm thinking about that. Saw it. Now, this is the advice from Spirit. Again, three uh, crucial uh, cards here. And this read particularly, because it's different, is advice for the relationship as a whole. Ace of Swords. So normally, this would be the advice for you and your person for that for the relationship as a whole. And uh, here, it's the advice. I got to tell you, it's coming between, I got to show you all these. It's coming between the Knight, who's looking at the uh, uh, Four of Cups. That's kind of like meditation. We're talking about emotions. You can almost read that as meditation. Um, but it's coming as uh, here. This is the advice for how to really come together and fully activate your ability to manifest and align yourself with your own personal um, alignment with love and relationship is through communication. And this is being very decisive. And I think this is saying things out loud. You know, I got to tell you to kind of make fun, but you know, it's the Stuart Smiley you know, or Smalley, was it, you know, from the Saturday Night Live skit, you know, I'm good enough in front of the mirror, and he says, I'm daggummit, people like me, and, you know, that kind of thing, uh, so it's a little bit of that, you know, I pray out loud, I have a little trouble, too, with that kind of assertion, it's something I'm trying to do, here I am, Sag, um, but very much, this is uh, making your, your connection well-known, well-known, um, I mean to spirit and maybe to yourself too um, as you go along here because um, really this is again all something internal that when I say spirit that is you so I mean it's just how do we get that alignment uh, good and you you definitely don't want to be in seven of cups here uh, person you would want to I would want to see this in a regular reading I'd be like oh, oh this person's because Basically, it shows you're gonna you're finding yourself engaging with a person who's kind of emotionally doesn't really know what they want, and you know maybe keeping demons down stuff like that. So you know never ends well. Wow, talk about ending well. The Star Aquarius card, Sag. You know, there's a lot of action there right now with uh, Jupiter going direct, and, uh, Saturn too. Uh, a lot of things are going to be happening. This is officially now Sagittarius season. But, you know, hopes, dreams, and wishes, major arcana. Um, and so I think you take these together, and this is a, I think of this as a manifestation read. I mean, it couldn't be any clearer. Down here, the most important cards are the advice of spirit and the outcome. And that is to state your hopes and dreams and wishes out loud. Make it very clear. No uncertain terms. You know, dotting the uh, I's and crossing the T's kind of energy, Sag. You know, if you're not feeling it now, you should be. With well, some sense of fire here. Um, not a lot of fire here in here. You should count the emperor. But here it is, very much so, with the Six of Wands. Um, I think it might speak to what's kind of coming at you with this Aquarius energy and the hopes, dreams, wishes. Um, it really is a card of having hopes. And it's like, I basically, having that as the outcome of the heart spread, 
to me it's like the universe or source will look at it is saying that you have hope you have a lot to be thankful for you got a lot coming your way Sanj so thank you guys uh, give me a like thumbs up uh, tell a friend tell a friend if you can think of anywhere to share my readings to help me out please do any kind of social platform and if you haven't subscribed hit the bell thank you guys